Okay, today we're going to do something really fun. We are going to focus on the details of a sticker. This came from Mindy Carpenter at Carpe Diem, and this is just a peel and stick sticker, but I was so compelled by the details on this, and I'm sure she's going to make it into a card. But what we're going to do is we're going to use our pen this time, and we are going to do some details with line art and carefree details, and we are going to put it on the envelope. Because this has a lot of details, we're just going to use a regular forever stamp in the corner. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is focus on the couch. And the couch will be something that I may or may not paint, but it's such an anchor point on the sticker. And then I will put a frame of the fall elements on the wall behind it. I will do a time lapse of this and hopefully I can slow it down a little bit so you can see. I know I went really fast on that and the reason I went fast is because if you spend too much time worrying about all the little details and you use pencil you get caught up in making it perfect and that's one of the messages I send out when I'm talking about envelope art is try to release yourself of the pressure of making it perfect but if you work with pencil and you're trying to make the dimensions and the details perfect and exactly like you see on the card, or in this case, the sticker, you're going to lose a little bit of your ability to be carefree about it. So what I did was I did a little bit of uh, make-believe here with the vase and flowers. I reoriented the frame and I'm going to write the address in the couch right here. So hopefully it will turn out and I think it's gonna be really fun. So let's work on the painting. And again, I'm going to do a time lapse on this because I'm just gonna add a little bit of paint to this um, illustration. I know that was fast, but I just want you to know how easy it is to add just a pop of color to your design and to come up with something so pretty as this. So I am going to address the envelope and I'm going to put a stamp on it and then we will see how it turns out. So before I show you the envelope, what I'm going to do is I have some blank note cards and I am going to take this lovely sticker and make it into a framed piece of art on the card. So before I stick it down, I am going to just give it a rough, um, rough dashes here. I'm going to try to um, copy the style of the 
artwork on the envelope and just give it a little bit of flair here. And this will be what I write my letter on. Now this is not watercolor paper either. However, it is a felt cardstock, which has, believe it or not, um, a nice toothy grain to it. And it does hold the watercolor nicely. Again, I always will repeat myself saying this is not meant for extensive layering or detail work as the paper will definitely not hold that kind of integrity. So we're going to just do some light artwork on this to match the um, picture that we did on the, on the envelope. So I think I'm gonna use this nice, just pop of kind of a burgundy pink color for the frame just to give it a little bit of color. And then what I'm going to do is put the sticker down and let this dry. And then I will write my letter and I will show you how it all, whoop, how it all turned out. Okay, we'll let this dry and we will Peel off the sticker from the backing and we will just pop that right into this frame like so. And there you have it. That will be the artwork for the card and this is the matching envelope. So I was able to fit the address um, of the artist. This is actually going to Mindy to thank her for sending me these extra stickers. And I uh, hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them at the bottom of the video.